Pinterest, Visual Social Media, A Starter's Guide by Nicole Fitzhugh. Pinterest is a social media platform describing itself as an online pin board. It focuses on images rather than text, allowing you to organize images around themes or categories. The layout allows for multiple image displays, which a traditional blog format would not. Pinterest describes the images as pins. A widget allows you to grab images and move them to Pinterest. A set of pins makes up a board, and there is no limit to the number of pins to a board. You can create multiple boards and collaborate with others on shared boards. The social aspect of Pinterest lies in the open exchange of images. Other users see your pins, though they may not see your boards. If you choose, you may allow others to contribute to your boards, or you may pin to theirs. You can like, or comment, or even repin images posted by others. However, the relationship between posters is not personal and does not require invites to comment or view pins. Let's go through and see how to set up an account and look at a simple board I created. You can use email or your Facebook or Twitter logins. Once you've created an account, you make a profile with a picture, a short bio, and then set up your profile preferences. You can choose to make your profile invisible to search engines, but your profile information is visible to all Pinterest users. Once you've created an account, Pinterest will set up a home page for you with an image feed. The more images you pin, like, or comment on, and the more people you follow, the more your home page will reflect your interests. When you've got your account ready, you can start collecting your own images and create boards. Clicking on your image profile, clicking on your image profile pic shown under the arrow will help you create a board. To make collecting images easier, use Pinterest's Pin It button. The Pin It button is a widget that you install in your bookmark bar that opens Pinterest whenever you find an image you like. I've created a sample board so you can see how it works. This is how a board is created. As you can see, you can make the board social by inviting others to contribute. My son really likes the TV show World's Toughest Fixes. I went to the show's homepage. When I found an image I liked, I then clicked my Pin It button. Here's what you see when you pin an image. Pinterest opens up and allows you to put your image in the correct board. Images can be collected from the web or from other Pinterest users. After searching for spiders on Pinterest, I found this image another user pinned. Mousing over it allowed me to repin it onto my own board. Here's what my board looks like. This makes a great visual reference for my children and me to remember what kinds of things they like. There's a huge variety of boards available for inspiration, and Pinterest provides some ready-made categories. Their help section is easy to use and understand. If you're interested in images, I'd highly recommend Pinterest.